hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Omi elizabeth as you already know and you're welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you guys back here today we are talking relationship we are go- it's been long <laughs> it's been long we discussed relationship so today we are talking relationship and as you can see the title already it says must you marry the person you date i mean it is so complicated that before I proceed, I know I look stressed. I am stressed, so just permit this look. I'm recording this video around. This is past 10, past 10 p.m. This is the time I have to record the video. So please, just take this pretty look. <laughs> the way it is. So back to today's topic: Must you date? Must you marry? Will you date? That is what I'm going to be discussing today, and. Um, I am as much as I'm discussing this I want you all to take it with an open mind and let us just discuss if you have anything to say at the end of this video please do not do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section so most times as a girl growing up or as a guy some of us have, have made this promise to ourselves that oh I'm going to end up with the first guy I date like I'm going to get married to the first guy I date and that is why I'm taking my time and that is why you know I do not just want to rush into relationships and all of that which is totally fine and normal and perfect I mean we all do not wish for heartbreak I don't think there's anybody that sat down on their own and just say I just feel like experiencing heartbreak like it just happens to some persons and you know they just eat breakfast like that like random breakfast so most times when people get into a relationship they get into a relationship with the mind that they really want to end up with the person i mean normal people <laughs> i'm not talking about people that just derive pleasure and you know jumping from one relationship to another so i'm talking about godly relationships and you know even normal even if you're not a believer normal relationships like with healthy people with healthy mindsets yeah they get into a relationship with the mind that oh it's because i love this person that's why i want to get into a relationship with this person and i hope i see an end goal and the end goal is to get married to the person so please if you are the type of person that gets into a relationship because of materialistic things because he has money at the moment and all of that this video is not necessarily for you but you can still go ahead and watch this video in in choosing who you want to get into a relationship which you should as a matter of fact be looking at the end goal do i think i can end up with this person do i think this person can be a head over me i mean if there is no marriage in view why are you wasting your time why <laughs> there is no point wasting your time yeah so that should be one thing you should actually bear in mind when you're getting into a relationship with someone i think when you're dating someone when you're seeing someone when you're on, you are courting someone whatever word you choose to use and end goal should be in mind a positive end goal at that i want to really do life with this person i want to get married to this person must you get married to the person you date the answer is no you mustn't <laughs> and the truth is people change you change a lot of things change and change is the only constant thing and change happens like almost every time now it is very important that why you are choosing someone that you want to date in your decision making or anything you check out for the qualities you really like in a person and you know before you eventually end up settling with the person be it dating or courtship or eventually get married to the person but no we're not talking about marriage now we're talking about dating but there are sometimes that people change i was watching a clip one day and the man talked about the fact that when you are dating someone it is very important as a believer and even even if you do not want a kingdom marriage as a normal person that you pray to god about it both boys both male and female and i saw reasons with him because he made mention of the fact that you can only know the present of somebody and you can only know the past but you cannot know the future right you are praying to god about it why because god is the only one that actually knows the future of that person and knows what the person will turn out like knows if okay she's nice now she's good she's god fearing now what will she be like in the future is our condition in the future our condition in the future will it, be, will it still be favorable for me would i still love that condition and all of that not condition like sickness condition like the state of i've been like how will she be how will it be will it become cruel and you know a whole lot of things so it is very important that we know that people will change and then 
in as much as you are in a relationship and um, you are enjoying the relationship now it is very important that you keep on praying and you know even if you did not pray if you did not see god's consent before getting to the relationship there are some persons like i mean they are already in love they don't even think about i want to ask god or anything they just jumped into the relationship because they have seen that oh this is a very cool person to be with right and i'm not judging nobody here i'm not judging nobody i know that love can be very intoxicating <laughs> but whilst in that relationship it is very important that you start checking out for signs if you really really think this is someone you want to be with if this person starts you know misbehaving and you know you start noticing that this person is not going in line with you even though the person has good qualities but you just feel like this is not what i want of course you can definitely opt out there are so many things that people get to discover in a relationship and they they i feel like the dating phase is for them to know if they can actually move on or not if they can cope with it or not so the dating phase is for you to actually vet the person you are with even if you have prayed to god about the person if you still because there are some times that we get confirmations from god and you know they are just confirmations from ourselves like our wishes and our desires so even in your i've gotten the confirmation god told me to go ahead it is very very reasonable that you keep putting that relationship in prayers like and also apart from prayers it is very very reasonable that you keep checking out for signs if you guys are going to work or not trust me the period of dating is for you to know the period of dating the period of courtship is for you to know if you can actually go on if you can cope with the traits you are seeing in the lady or in the man if you can cope with it in marriage because marriage is a lifetime thing right i know there are so many persons that have always been of the mindset that ah, i will not date i will not date two guys oh i used to be there <laughs> but guy once you see that okay this is not going to work it is best that you break it and move on move on to go and be with someone else move on and be on the look for someone else but please i just want everybody that has the mindset of is the person that i did that i must marry to not keep that mindset in there because it can it has really kept a whole lot of persons in a very toxic relationship now please i am putting this disclaimer out again i am not saying and i would never insinuate that okay when you want to now date someone because i have said that you must not date who you must not marry who you date then you just get into a, a relationship with any random person or you know um and just break the person's heart because of course i must not marry you when you are actually getting into a relationship it is very anyways let me just talk to myself i actually get into a relationship with an end goal in mind i do not just get into relationships for fun which is a very advisable thing to do actually because why are you wasting your time <laughs> if you have seen this person and you know you know that you, this person cannot work for you it's best to not just agree to start with for those of you that are sitting on the table of i must marry who i did please remove that mindset from your head vet the guys you want to date vet the ladies you want to date be sure that they are very okay for you but keep in mind that change is the only constant thing and change can happen at any time see it can just happen while there are some persons that are actually very very lucky to find themselves in you know one relationship and then it will lead to marriage great for you guys great for you but that happens to someone does not mean it will happen to you i can remember because my sister actually got married to her first love so i used to be of that mindset that me if i will not date two guys as i just see one like this that's the one that will marry and hmm, when the thing eventually happened and the thing broke it was really 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 difficult to move on because i just i just i already carried that mindset all around like it must be one if it's not that one is no one hey, I beg go. <laughs> So another thing that thing does to you like carrying that mindset up and another thing it does to you is that it makes it really difficult for you to move on because you already put your hope in that particular person that particular lady that particular guy that that is the person you are going to get married to and if he's not the one then is not the one then is nobody else and it's, so it is always very very difficult for people like that to actually move on even whilst you are in a relationship be very open-minded that anything can happen 
I, I am really trying to watch my words right now because I don't want people to grab what I did not say. But whilst you're in a relationship, still the most important thing is still keep praying for God's will because God's will is the best. So still keep praying that God go if it's not this person. I beg remove me because there are some really really uh, there are some really terrible relationships that will just hijack you, hijack your life, hijack your destiny, you will not even be able to move forward. You get married to the person and you're just there stuck. So you really don't want to find yourself in that situation, right? Yes, you don't want to find yourself in that situation. So till you actually go on the altar to say I do, it is best that you know that you mustn't, you mustn't. There is no way it says doesn't marry who you date. You mustn't. There is no uh, there is no fast rule to that that you must marry with date. There's no there's no rule that says if you do not marry with you date, you are a prostitute or you are you are promiscuous or something like that. Yeah. So that is just the that's just what I want to debunk in the mind of people. As much as you mustn't marry with you date, it is also very important that you do not just go about jumping from guys to guys because after all you must marry with you date. It is very important that even before you get into a relationship, you vet properly who it is you are going to a relationship with and look out for the qualities you would want to see in your husband in that person. Look out for the qualities you want to see in your wife in that person before you go into a relationship with such a person. Okay guys, I've come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, share to people and also please kindly subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. We talk love, life, faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 all right guys i've come to the end of this today's video please drop a comment in the comment section if you have anything at all to say so i see you in my next video i love you guys so much bye